let's join Shiv at Star Performance Dance Studio. Today we're at the Star Performance Academy and we'll be talking to Kristen Werner, who's the founder, creator, and an instructor choreographer at the Star Performance Academy. Let's talk to Kristen. Now we are joined by the star instructor and the founder of the Star Performance Academy, Kristen Werner. Hello, Kristen, how are you today? I'm well, how are you? Oh, not bad, not bad at all. So tell me something about this year's programs, anything new, something that's exciting you this time? Oh, well, we're in our 10th year, so it's the star team's uh, 10th year of competing. So it's a big, it's a big time for them. And Congratulations. Really excited. Yeah, yeah. Um, the star team, it's a, a program we offer at, the, at Star Performance Academy. Um, mm -hmm. And the students um, that are really passionate about dance perhaps want to um, take it to that next level, spend some more time in the studio, learn more details. and. Um, and go to university, go to perhaps. Exactly, yeah, and perhaps make a career out of it. So tell me something about this team and the piece that they're doing this year in the competition. Well, we have a number of pieces, um, but the, we did show one piece today uh, about uh, a girl who um, perhaps is interested in, in a fella, but he's, the metaphor she uses is about butterflies, that he's a butterfly and he's meant to be set free. So by the end of the dance, she realizes that she needs to set him free and uh, she's um, sort of grounding herself and letting him go. And that's true love, isn't it? Yes. Setting other people <laughs> yes, free. Yes, yes. So it's a real big story piece. And, uh, and where did the inspiration come from for this particular piece? Um, this particular piece, it was just the song. I heard the song and fell in love with it and just wanted to uh, do my take on it in terms of choreography and, and costuming. And um, Costuming, but, yes, yes, let's talk about that. Those okay, were yeah. lovely, beautiful. Tell me about the process that goes into it. Is it too intricate? It's, um, it is an intricate process. Wow, um, we go, I thought so. We, yeah, we go, we, um, we go to um, specialty fabric shops and um, that the fabric for those, they had um, butterfly wings that were attached to them. So it's two fabrics layered on top of each other. So we went through the process of figuring which ones would look good on top uh -huh. of each other. And then and the fabric and, as well, right? Yep, the comfy exactly. one to do the dancing in. Yes, yep. And they, and they, um, and then they're custom made for each dancer. So they're, wow. they're tailored. And, so um, who makes them? Um, a tailor? Uh, well, actually, today we have Rosemary back in the background here. Oh, um, Rosemary lovely. Harris. She's also one of our uh, ballet instructors um, uh -huh. and does um, um, teaching as well. She's got uh, her daughter's dance as well. I and can see she's doing yeah, some nice work so, down there. So she um, she does, uh, each instructor um, designs their own piece and then she interprets the ideas out of her mind and onto the bodies of the dancers and wow. puts it all together. So. so she's showcasing your vision into yes. their costumes. Yes, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I can't believe I said that. Yeah. <laughs> and it, it made totally, sense. Totally right on. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. And what about the hair and makeup? Hair and makeup, um, there's um, certain things that are just very functional in dance, like a bun to get it off the face uh -huh. and, and um, elongate the line of the dancer. I did not know that. Yeah. So yeah. that's the purpose. And tell me about yourself. How did you get into dancing? Um, I got into dance just by my sister, my older sister, dancing, and so I got to watch her dance and just wanted to be like her and try it out. So and dancers in the family. Yeah, yeah. So we danced together our whole uh, dance career. She's three years older than me, and um, um, and then I decided to open up my own school and pass on what I've learned and hopefully more and train more generations of dancers because I loved it so much. So, so um, tell me about the kind of dance forms that you teach here. Um, well, there's very there's. There's so many. Um, the, the star team specifically focuses on um, a, a mix of ballet, jazz, miracle, contemporary, tap, hip hop. Um, we and what's, what are some of the differences, just briefly? Briefly. Um, well, ballet is generally your foundation for technique, so it teaches you how to align the body properly, and um, and it's an art form all on its own. And from there, jazz evolved from many influences, but is based on ballet technique. Um, but it's. Um, it's, it's a stronger, more upbeat sort of form, uh -huh. generally speaking. More fun. Yeah, and then lyrical is, is sort of an interpretation of the lyrics through dance of, of a piece of music. It's much more emotionally and story driven, but again, you use your ballet technique. Um, and contemporary is a new style that's evolved in the last. And it's contemporary, while. right? Yeah, it's, it's contemporary. Is exactly. Yep, yep. Yes. And then tap is very different. Um, it's, you know, you've tap, got tap, tap shoes yes. and, and the sounds coming through the feet and the music. And, and then hip hop is what we all see. Yes, we do uh, know that. You know, don't that we? one's a yes. pretty popular one. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you. And um, wish you all the best. All right, thank you very much.
now we have the stars of the Star Performance Academy, three graduating students. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so tell me something about yourself. What's your name? My name First. Is How old are you? I am 17 years old. 17, and you're already graduating. Yes. No kidding. And how long have you been dancing, Chelsea? Since the age of three. So you've been dancing for 16 long years. Yeah. Good for you. And what kind of dances do you know? I do jazz, ballet, lyrical, acro, and hip hop. Oh, great. That must have taken some training. And what kinds do you like the best? My favorite is jazz. And why so? I like to be very sassy. Woohoo! We're mm -hmm. talking to a sassy 17 year old here. Well, it was nice talking to you, Chelsea. Yeah. Wish you all the best. Hello, and what's your name? Kaya. Kaya, nice name. So tell us something about yourself. Um, I'm 17, and I've been dancing since I was three. As well? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay, we have some prolific dancers amongst us. Yes, so what kind of dances do you like the most? Um, Jazz. Yeah, and lyrical <laughs> and ballet. And lyrical, ballet, and why so? Um, I like lyrical because uh, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun, indeed. <laughs> and would you like to continue your dance in your future life as well? Yeah. What would you like to do with um, it? I want to dance on a cruise ship. You do? Yeah. That's exciting, mm -hmm. isn't it? I want to da dance on a cruise ship too, but the thing is I can't dance. <laughs> That's the only problem I have. It's a little bit of a tiny thing, you know. I'm sure we work on it. Now moving on to you, young fellow. What's your name? My name is Michael. Michael. And how long have you been dancing? I've been dancing since I was four. Okay. <laughs> They've been dancing since they were three. Yeah. You have some catching up to do. Yeah. So what kind of dances do you like? Uh, well, I like all of them pretty much, but I have a couple favorite like jazz or lyrical and then hip hop. So everybody likes like jazz and lyrical. What's so special about lyrical that people like it? Well, I find lyrical it's a way to like express your emotions so you kind of frustrate, you can show that in your dance. So. And you can do that through other forms of dances? You can, it's just with lyrical it's like you kind of show emotion through your body more. Whereas to jazz it's all like how to like. And why is emotion an important part of your expression? Well, it's kind of a way to con connect with the audience, make them feel what you're feeling throughout your dance. And connection is important, I believe, right? And what made you choose this uh, field of dancing and dedicate so many years to it? Well, it started off with my sister who started dancing, and then I got into a class and I just simply loved it and started trying new things, and then it kept on going. And do you plan to carry this into your future as well? Yes, it is. And what would you like to do? Dance on a cruise ship? Yeah, that's definitely fun. Oh, you can go to the same cruise ship and dance together. And I'll be there traveling, I suppose, you know, not really dancing. Now, my cup of tea. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you.